What's going on YouTube? We back with another video, y'all. Y'all know I gotta let y'all have a cold start on the tracky before we start this video up. Look at this. I haven't started the track off in like two days. We got the Hellcat over here. Hell kitty. Let's give it a cold start for y'all to hear. Yo, shit gonna sound so good. tracky so anyway like i was saying guys we are in trouble the mopar guys we're in trouble not even on the bs with the hellcat mike situation with what the cops are saying just listen to what they cop is saying right now they're dodge cars with this larger logo on it they say it could be the signature logo of hellcat mike and the car could be stolen but if anybody out there has a neighbor lives in an apartment complex works with somebody that has a big Hellcat symbol on their car like that, we kind of want to know about it. Mike Menace, Kins 5. And we all know he do not know what he's talking about. Not because you got a Hellcat logo, a Trackhawk logo, or any kind of Mopar logo on the side of your Mopar that do not make it that your car is stolen. Yes, a lot of those cars is stolen, right? But even if it's stolen, you know, we living in a free country. The cops just cannot just come and be like, okay, you got a Hellcat logo on the side of your car. We're gonna take you in for questioning. We're gonna take your car. We're gonna look into you. Look, what the hell? What we look, where we living in? We in a third world country? We in America, man. I went to war for this country, right? So I could be leaving a free man in this country. So they'll be violating your rights if they do that. You could definitely get a lawyer and sue them. But another thing, that's going on in my city, which I think is going to trickle down in the other cities, right? If you buy, if you do a swap or you buy a Hellcat on the street, not from the, I'm not talking about if you buy it from a dealership, you buy a Mopar on the street, Facebook Marketplace or some shit like that, and you want to go register the car, now they want you to get a police VIN verification. I guess you got to take the paperwork for the car to the police station. They got to verify the VIN. So you could be good to go. And I'm talking about the guys that got legal swaps. All you guys that have hot swaps, that's for a whole nother video, okay? Um, because we all work hard, man. And if I decide to do a swap or build, and you know, the cops pull me over, and they run my VIN, of course, the engine is gonna come up to another car because I could buy the engine and go to the um, uh, Copar and buy me a a Chrysler 300 or any kind of old Hellcat and do my build. You know what I'm saying? It's not illegal to do a build. You see what I'm saying? So that's one way to protect it. Um, another way, man, <laughs> is do it right. You feel me? Do it right, bro. Um, I don't know no other way to say it. The cops are, are catching on now. They know that you guys are going to um, Copar, buying a crash Hellcat, and then getting a hot Hellcat and swap the parts. And I always tell y'all, the the um the engine and the transmission got different different VIN numbers. You see what I'm saying? But if they run that VIN number, it's still gonna come up to the original car that the motor was put into from the factory. Okay. And another thing Florida is doing too, bro. Which I you know, and I'm not telling you things I don't know. It's things that's happening to my friends right now. And I'm just, you know, passing the information out on the internet to, to, the, to the car community. Let everybody be aware of what's going on. Florida is doing something now. They're tired of it, I guess, with people running from them. If you run, if you run from the cops like this right here. So, for example, y'all, if you run from the cops like this and, you you know, you pull chips like this, they are going to seize your car. They are going to turn your car into a police car in the state of Florida. So, guys, don't run from the cops. Apparently, these guys got to be hot. That's the only reason why they could run from the cops like this, y'all. So, be safe and protect your property. Pit, pit, pit. Moral of the story, man. You just got to protect yourself. 
you know what I'm saying? We in a free country, you know what I'm saying? Not because you have a Hellcat logo on the side of your car or a Trackhawk logo or anything like that, that make your car stolen. You see what I'm saying? That's just BS. Whatever they talking about is BS, guys. You know, and I know the Mopar community, we have a bad, bad impression on people. You see what I'm saying? The other day I was driving on South Beach, you know, the cops look at me and he's just looking at me crazy. And then when I drove by, you know, I got the, the disabled veteran plates. He's like, oh, he's a veteran. So what if I wasn't a veteran? Would you would harass me? You would have pulled me out of my car. You would have fucking do all this crazy. Bro, we in a free country. You know what I'm saying? Not because the car is stolen. And even if the person got a stolen car, that still don't give you the right. Unless if, you know what I'm saying? Whatever they got be ridden, the car is stolen. And yeah. But even if the car is stolen and you're driving down the street, the cops just cannot just randomly pull you over, bro. And, and just say, okay, well, you're driving a stolen Hellcat. Well, they don't even know it's stolen yet. They just pulled you over and we're going to run your VIN. They got to have probable cause. They got to know for a fact that this car is stolen. You see what I'm saying? They got to have information on that car. Okay, this is the car. This is it right there. I know this is the car. You see what I'm saying? So it's like they're pulling over, pulling me over and be like, okay, your track hawk is stolen. You know what I'm saying? Bro, this is a lawsuit. You know what I'm saying? It's a lawsuit. You know what I'm saying? They're asking for lawsuits, man. Lawsuits and lawsuits and lawsuits. But I understand. You see what I'm saying? I understand. If somebody stole my track hawk, me personally, if they stole my track hawk, I don't even want it no more. You see what I'm saying? That's the reason why I got insurance. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna go to the insurance company, the police make my make my uh, police um report, go to the um my insurance company make my claim and that's it man i'm not gonna deal with the headache because you know when them guys steal them cars they go jaw riding go to takeovers and just destroy them cars i don't want that shit back so i could have all kind of problems that i did not have in my car before it was stolen and the insurance is not gonna fix it i i gotta fix it y'all so all i'm saying y'all if you do a swap a legal swap i'm not talking about the guys that you know got a hot swap and they changing the PCMs and all that shit trying to stay under the radar, y'all. The cops are catching on right now. You know what I'm saying? Even if you change the VINs, I mean, not change the VINs, even if you change the PCM, change all the computers, you know, um, you get a, a, a crash body from Copar and you do your build. And if the motor is hot and the transmission is hot and suspension is hot, the cops are catching on now. They know about it, y'all. So y'all got to be careful. Y'all got to do it right. And that's for educational purpose only. I'm not... I'm not, you know what I'm saying, condoning to anybody taking anybody's property by any means necessary, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's what they're doing now. And in Florida, like I said, if you run from the cops, they're going to take your car. You know what I'm saying? If, you're, if, if, if you run from the cops and your car is still owned by the bank, I think that's a different situation. But if you run from the cops and you own, if you own that car, bro, they're going to take it. And that's what they're doing right now. Running from the cops in Florida right now is, I'm telling you, don't do it. If you clean, you got you got your driver's license is good, you got insurance in your car, unless if you have illegal stuff in the car, then, hey, do what you got to do. But what are you running for? You know what I'm saying? Them, them cops is doing their job, you know, a, a regular traffic stop or whatever the case is. Driving white, black, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um, just stop, man. Show your driver's license and then go about your way, bro. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to work hard for your car, pay your car off. And then you freak out because the cops get behind you or you got friends peer pressuring you and tell you, oh, run from the cops. And then you run from the cops. And then, you know, to make a video to go viral on, on Instagram and then you looking crazy at the end. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to take your car. You see what I'm saying? And they're going to laugh at you and they're going to turn your car into a police car. And then you're going to see the police driving your car a couple years down the line with on the side of it police. And you know that's your car that they took from you. You know what I'm saying? So if you're riding clean and you clean, man, you do a good swap. Your swap is good. You work hard. Man, stop, man. Show them folks your stuff. Like I said, go to the police station if you do a swap and get a VIN verification. They're going to give you paperwork. And you keep that in your glove compartment like your registration, man. You know what I'm saying? So when they pull you over, you give them that shit. That's where they could see that, okay, he's a swap. He's, he's verified by the, by the police. They're going to stamp it and everything. And that's it, bro. And that's it. You ain't got to do nothing more than that, bro. And um, that's the way you could protect yourself from all the craziness that's going on. So they don't accuse you of saying that your stuff is hot. You see what I'm saying? So, um, 
yeah y'all i'm gonna cut this video um we're gonna talk about um swaps in the next video i love y'all to everybody that been subscribing to the channel y'all i love y'all y'all making me leave my dreams when i got out of the military i wanted to be a youtuber a car youtuber and y'all are helping me through that journey i love y'all so much y'all understand i really like dedicated to this i'm dedicated to y'all bringing making content if you're new to the channel please subscribe to the channel y'all i love y'all if you um already subscribe to the channel i appreciate you but keep coming back and watching the content and i love y'all and i see y'all in the next video